Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and this was inevitable but there are some really awesome features from the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro that are making their way down to the older OnePlus devices. I'm going to be showcasing around three of those on my OnePlus 6T here today to see exactly how good they are, whether they're stable and whether it's worth upgrading now as opposed to waiting for when they come later on with a software update. So let's take a look. But first off, we have to make our OnePlus 6 or older device look like the OnePlus 7 Pro, and that's going to be done with a new application called Abstract. Now, it's from an artist called Hampus Olsen, and it's basically any OnePlus device wallpaper that you can ever think of all in one place. Now, in total, there are 300 wallpapers within this application, and they're all in 4K resolution, so they look extremely nice. If you head into the OnePlus section here, you can see that at the top, you've got the OnePlus 7 wallpapers. As you make your way down you've got the OnePlus 6T, the OnePlus 6, the 5T, the 5, all the way back down to the OnePlus X if you remember that phone from a very long time ago and some older ones from maybe the OnePlus 2 back in the day as well. Now the application itself is really simple to use, there is an in-app purchase for $1.99 that gives you access to every single wallpaper and also future wallpapers and you can apply to the home screen, lock screen both or save it to your gallery and this is exactly how it's going to look which I think looks really nice. Next up and some Something not all that exciting is the OnePlus gallery which I have hidden off to the side here because I use Google Photos of course but you've got some changes here in regards to the actual gallery itself. You've got the new collection carousel interface which does look really nice. You've still got the same editing features that you had beforehand. There is a slight change to the media viewer as well so you can't necessarily favourite things anymore for some reason but you can still edit, delete and also share as well. And this application along with the others that I'm mentioning in this video are going to be linked in in the description down below so they're going to be from APK Mirror so you will need to sideload them and install them but for the most part the first two that we've mentioned here the wallpaper application and the gallery are pretty stable and then next up we have the camera application from the OnePlus 7 now the first thing you're going to notice is the beauty mode now has numbers from 1 2 3 and also off instead of the slider that it had beforehand so again a very small change but something slightly different everything's the same in terms of the modes that you've got but you'd also have a brand new customization modes at the top here where you can change exactly what shows up when you launch the camera application so you can see that I've got video photo portrait and nightscape and they're the ones that are going to show at the bottom of this carousel down the bottom here so again if you want to change that to launch straight into photo mode or video mode straight away for example then all you need to do is move these around really simple to do also instead of being a separate application Google Lens is built directly into the application now and it is also native and offline as well meaning that if you do take a snap it doesn't necessarily need an internet connection to show you exactly what you're seeing. You still got the options for QR codes, website links and everything like that as well. So again, just a little bit of a change but something that a lot of people may want to use. Now for me, the camera application is actually the buggiest of all of the apps that we're looking at here at the moment. So when you go into the Nightscape mode, it may be because the OnePlus 7 has Nightscape 2.0 and older devices don't. It can take a little bit longer to load and again, it isn't necessarily the best thing when you're switching between modes it can take a very long time to do so so maybe for the camera application I would maybe leave this one until it actually comes natively to the older OnePlus devices which is going to be the OnePlus 5, 5T, 6 and also 6T and that's going to be sometime within the next couple of months. Next up and a feature that I'm really excited for is the natively built-in screen recorder. Now this is going to allow you to do a couple of things, so again you can move around this pill shape here which will also get smaller when you're recording, you can change the resolution from 540, 720 and also 1080p as well, you can also change the bitrate, audio source, video orientation as well and show touches if you need it to. So again once you actually go in to actually record the screen itself, what you're going to see is it's going to show you a timer for how long you've been recording for and then this little pill here is going to shrink down ever so slightly and as of yet I can't actually see any way to get rid of it completely but again that's something that you may not need to do so I've just go around here move around the device and just open up the app drawer for example go back and then stop the video it's then going to give you a notification at the top to say that it's been saved to your gallery as you can see there you can share and delete it straight away or you can go through and play the video as well so again for me if I'm doing any app reviews or game reviews this is definitely going to come in handy to allow me to get that really smooth 60 frames per second on pretty much any video that I want to look at. 
And then lastly we have the built in zen mode which again can be found in your quick settings. And this is basically a way for you to enjoy everyday life without having to look at your phone every 5 seconds. So you can see enjoy the company of your pets, enjoy romantic moments and also enjoy intimate conversations. So again what this is going to do is shut down your device for 20 minutes and there's no way to get out of it whatsoever and believe me I have definitely tried. You can also see your stats in regards to how often you've used this, how many notifications you may have missed or lock screens that you may have missed as well and you've also got the setting there to have the zen mode notification and the notification interval and what this is basically going to do is allow you to see exactly how many notifications you're going to be getting within a certain period of time. So what we're going to do now is turn this on to see exactly how it works by clicking let's go down the bottom of the screen. You can see here that once you're in zen mode you can't cancel out of it, notifications will be muted but you can still receive phone calls and make emergency calls and all apps will be locked except for the camera so again it still allows you to take pictures if you need to. Once you then click on start you do have 3 seconds to cancel if you wish and then it's pretty much set and ready to go and the 20 minute timer then starts. Now you can still see things like the time and date and also your battery percentage and as I mentioned you can make emergency calls and you can access the camera by sliding from the bottom right hand corner much like some of the older Android lock screens. But as you can see then there's no home button down the bottom at all and again the only button down there is the back button which is then going to take you back into zen mode which again you cannot get out of whatsoever. I've tried restarting the device, turning it off, turning it on again, all of those standard IT tricks but nothing does the job and again this is really to get you away from your phone and back into conversation or just kind of focus on something other than your device. And this may be something that you want to use, whether it's having a conversation with somebody, maybe heading into a meeting, to not have your phone vibrating and buzzing every time you get a notification, which is possibly going to be some junk email for example, then again this is a nice feature to have, whether I'm going to use it all that much I'm not too sure, but it's still nice to have. And that's going to do it guys for this video, now all of the applications that I mentioned will be linked in the description down below, but again maybe don't install the camera just yet and wait for that one to come in a later software update. Now at the moment some of these features have only been officially announced for the OnePlus 6 and also the 6T, however everything that I've mentioned in this video will work on the 5, the 5T, 6, 6T and of course the 7 and 7 Pro. Now if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below, if you've got any questions or comments about this or anything else on the channel let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already, now is a great time to subscribe and also turn on notifications so that you're notified anytime that I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.